I'm gonna make a pork chop on the grill, spice rub, a barbecue sauce. This is where all the flavor comes in. And we're gonna make a spice rub for these pork chops. Cumin, ancho chili powder, or just a chili powder in the store. Chili de arbol. If you can't find chili de arbol, cayenne works really nicely. Coriander seed, They're nice and earthy. It's the seed of cilantro. Ground mustard, you know what that tastes like. Dried oregano, a little sort of uh, musty, earthy flavor, and Spanish paprika, a really good quality paprika. All right, we're gonna take some of that, mix it up, and create our own spice rub. And these are things that you're gonna find in your pantry. You know they're in there. This is something you can use for pork, for beef, for lamb, for fish, for chicken. And also, you wanna make a, a good amount of this so you can make it once and then you'll always have it. And this way, you know, you get hungry one night, you got some extra pork chops, or you have some fish, what have you, fire away. Break out the spice rub that you made, you know, a couple weeks earlier. Make it happen. A little black pepper and some salt. Just mix it well. There you go. So these pork chops, they're sort of like a T-bone cut. You see the T-bone right in the middle here. Okay, so we're gonna take a little bit of canola oil and then we're gonna just sprinkle some of the rub right on top of the pork chops. And we're gonna let these sit just for like a half an hour. Just rub them in, just like it says, spice rub. And this is how I like to get big flavor really quickly. It's a great impact of flavor because it actually becomes part of the pork chop itself. So we're gonna make a barbecue sauce with some sorghum. Now sorghum, if you haven't heard of it before, it's sort of like a southern molasses. It's like if you took honey and molasses and put them together, that's what sorghum tastes like. If you can't find sorghum, you can certainly use molasses or take a combination of honey and molasses and make them both. So we're gonna take our sorghum, some ketchup and some mustard. Lots of things, you know, right from your pantry. Now I'm gonna use a chili. I have different kinds of chilies here. I'm gonna go for a hot one today. This is a habanero, but you don't necessarily have to do that if you don't want. I'm gonna grab some cider vinegar, and everybody goes in the pool. I like to use ketchup as a base of my barbecue sauces because not only do I like the flavor, I like the texture. It sort of helps to create a really nice glaze on the outside of the chops. Some mustard. And some cider vinegar. Some sorghum. And then a habanero pepper. And you know these are really hot, so I'm only gonna use half of one. And you wanna chop this up very finely, because you don't want people taking a big taste of this habanero chili all in one bite. Okay, let's get this on the fire. Very simple barbecue sauce. Ketchup, mustard, a little sorghum. And I'm actually gonna put a little bit of chili powder in here as well. This is something you can certainly make ahead of time. It freezes pretty well also. But I don't necessarily think you need to freeze it because there's, you know, there's lots of sugar and preservatives in here. It's probably gonna keep at least for a couple weeks, for sure. While that's cooking, we're gonna get our pork chops on the grill. We have our spice rub pork chops. I only have the spice rub on one side, you see? Because I just want to enhance the flavor of the pork chops. We still want to taste the pork. We want to know that it's pork. And I'm just gonna brush the other side with a little bit of canola oil. So we're gonna let our pork chops cook. Let's flip these over. Yeah, see how nice and crusty those get? That's exactly what you want. Beautiful. Yeah. And the spice rub becomes part of the pork chop. And these are gonna cook very quickly. There's very little fat in them, and we don't wanna overcook them. But now, this is where all the flavor comes in. Right on top of our pork chop. Now I'm gonna move this to the indirect part of the grill for lower heat. And I'm gonna cover up the grill and let them cook. Let's come over here and grab our pork chops. So I let these pork chops rest for about five to 10 minutes. We want them to relax and we want the juices to kind of cool down so that when we cut them, they don't run into the cutting board, but they stay intact. And that's really key. That's why people say, you know, rest the meat when it comes off the grill all the time. That's exactly why they do that. You know what's great about the pork? I mean, you see how quickly we cook them. It may have taken six, seven minutes on the grill total. It has some smokiness from the grill itself and tons of flavor from the spice rub. Of course, the barbecue sauce has that habanero chili right through it.